the main challenge in diagnosing Gaucher disease is people simply thinking of the diagnosis. The uh, testing is very straightforward. It's just an enzyme test that can be sent off to any metabolic laboratory. Um, if they don't think of doing the enzyme test, then a bone marrow will equally reveal the diagnosis, although it's not actually necessary. And then the diagnosis is confirmed on genetic testing, and that helps us to counsel the patients and give them some prognosis. As genetics is improving and next generation sequencing, then that is becoming easier, but is also raising some challenges because it's giving us some uh, genotypes that we don't understand, we aren't able to predict what the implications are. In fact, one of the most exciting things that we've become to understood more of over the last few years is the relevance of Gaucher disease to some other more common disorders. So being a carrier for Gaucher disease is one of the biggest genetic risk factors for Parkinson's, for example. And it may be that there are some common treatment approaches between Gaucher's and Parkinson's disease. There's a huge amount of interest and effort going into understanding the relationship between Gaucher disease and Parkinson's disease and also myeloma. People are looking to see if we were to screen Parkinson's uh, patients whether they might have Gaucher disease or be carriers for Gaucher disease and whether treatments which address the storage of the material glucosal ceramide which accumulates in Gaucher, whether that could also uh, be effective in uh, mitigating some of the effects of Parkinson's disease.